What you watching? What you watching? Huh? Good morning, guys. Um, it is November 20th? Yeah, 20th. And we are going to really try to get back in the swing of vlogging again. Uh, I know we've said this a couple times and it's, it's really hard, but we are now mostly settled into our new house. And we are, um, we, we want to document these years for Aaron. We want to have like a family document and we kind of want to share it with other people who we don't get to see all the time. So I think it'd be really cool if we started this up and gave people the option to hang out with us some um, and such. So I am outside right now. I actually just took some recycling outside, which is totally not that exciting. But we have some errands to do today. So hopefully we can get them done and I can get some um, videoing done. I'm also, I still have my crafting YouTube channel. And I recently started another channel, uh, which I will link to below, uh, if you are into ASMR, um, which you can head over to that channel and check out what ASMR is all about. So, uh, yeah, that's what we're doing today. It is totally mid-November, and I have got Halloween decorations still out. I guess I need to get them put away. Tell me what you thought about the sriracha burger from yeah. Burger King. It was hell. It was really hot. <coughs> Almost died. I'm gonna go to eat my french fries. I'm trying to take the pain away. Right, baby? Mm -hmm. You want some more french fries? Now you're no. done. Say hi. Show them your pretty hair. <laughs> no, go like this. Go. Turn your head. Oh, Erin got a ponytail today. And it's one of the first ones she's actually kept in her hair for a while. Cat! Get down! <coughs> so what are you going to do now? Take a nap. What did we do this morning? I went fishing, caught fishies. How many? Three. What kind? Rainbow trout. <laughs> no, that's not good. Oh, that makes it so much better. <laughs> <laughs> um, went to Best Buy to turn the camera back in. I told him about the camera. Oh. She told you about the camera. Um, Went to the post office to mail a box. Wow. Yeah, that was ridiculous. Anyway, go ahead. And uh, then we went food shopping. Am I right? You want fry? Uh huh. There you go. There you go. What do you say? Okay. <coughs> now I choke. So it goes then. Okay, so we went to the post office this morning, and after I mailed out my package that I needed to mail. Um, Cat's right behind me. Oh, there's a kitty. There's Cadmo. Back on. Cadmo! Mommy! 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 Like, hi. Um, anyway, um, I asked for some stamps because I'm, I'm low and I need some more. They told me that they had Christmas stamps in. I was like, well, do you have any non Christmas stamps? Because, you know, I just, it's not feeling the season yet. And, um, <coughs> yeah, we have Maya Angelou. So I'm like, oh, okay. Um, which Christmas dance do you got? So she starts going through her whole spiel. You know, Charlie Brown Christmas, snowflakes. I'm like, just give me snowflakes. I said, do they say Merry Christmas? She goes, no. I said, okay. Just give me the snowflakes. And so how terrible is it that it's, November, mid-November, Thanksgiving hasn't even happened yet. 
And all they have <coughs> is like Christmas stamps at the post office. I think that's a little sad. I mean, I know people are prepping their Christmas cards, but still, there should be like a couple options of like non Christmas cards available. Just Good saying. Kitty. And there's Camo. Lick you. And then I bite you. I lick you. And then I bite you. And then I bite you. I bite you. She's like, I'm on camera. I'm not going to bite now. No, I'm not a new kitty. Oh, sorry. <coughs> What you eating, Aaron? Look at mommy. <laughs> what you eating? What you got? What you got? Okay, camera, you win. What you got? You have a French fry? Tell the camera, say French fry. Fry. Yeah, she got fries. A fry. And she had some chicken nugget. They're good. Oh, they're crunchy. I'm gonna say it's good because she's not paying attention. Oh yeah. She's picking up the crumbs. <laughs> you want more fries? I know. Okay. Good girl. She got many keep in her company. They have many meals. Coloring? My turn. My turn? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Let me color too. Everybody color. Go, 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 I'm gonna paint Woody. Or color Woody. Yep, that's Woody. Good girl. I don't know why they gave you yellow. You can't see nothing. Alright. What color is that? Green. Green. That's yellow. And that. Green. And. What's this color? Blue. Yep, blue. What color is this? Red. No, red. Red. What color is this? Blue. Green. Green. What's this? Red. Yellow. Yellow. Oh no. Oh no. And that. Hair. God. No color on this page. Don't go over here yet. Color, finish coloring on that one. Make a pretty picture. Let me do. I'll paint this one red. Oh, jeez. A duck. No. I'm sorry. Oh, no. You go stab me? Why don't you finish coloring on this page? Excuse me, Missy. You didn't listen very well. Oh, my dad. What's what? Cat. What? Callie. Callie? Uh-huh. Very good. Is she on tea? Yeah. Uh-huh. Huh? Good job, Pumpkin. Who's that? Is that Buzz Lightyear? Who's that? That's Buzz Lightyear. I just said that. Who's that? That's Woody. Job. What? Job.
Top. Top? Uh-huh. I don't know what you mean, but okay. It's that. He's on Both. top of him. It's that. Woody. It's that. Woody. It's that. Both light year. It's that. Oh. So serious when she colors. What's that? Green. Hey guys, sorry about my messy desk, um, but I just got some free time, so I figured I would jump on and do an unboxing influencer box box that I received recently. Um, I haven't done these in a while, and I actually got one and missed an unboxing opportunity, but. I always get pretty cool stuff from them, so I like showing off what I got. Um, I was chosen to receive, um, on, let me find a little, a little paper about it, the pumpkin Vox box. So that's what the little card looks like, and it has a description of everything you get. So let's start from the beginning of the Vox box. First. We have Goodness Knows Squares, Snack Squares, and I received the Peach, Cherry, Almond, and Dark Chocolate, and it's available uh, It'll be available in October 2015 in three flavors, so I really don't know what the other three flavors are. But it is split up into four squares, and the total calories is 150 calories. Um, I heard somewhere that this is supposed to be like snack solutions uh, as like kind of like a mom box box. So like these would be snack solutions for kids maybe when they get home from school. Um, has no artificial colors, flavor sweeteners, no high fructose corn syrup, which I mean we all know in moderation. It's all good. All good in the hood. So, um, I haven't tried this out yet, obviously. I'm doing an unboxing. Um, I did open up the box just to see what was in it, but I haven't really opened any of the products yet. Okay, next in the thing was a coupon, which I don't have in my hand, for the Alexia, um... <coughs> one first inside and it has things like um, fat free fries and sweet potato fries waffle cut corn not waffle cut corn waffle cut fries corn um, and it looks like garlic baguette and it's for any one free side and it, it expires like a long time from now so hopefully I will get a chance to try that out I'm super excited I'm always I like trying new sides I like mixing it up for dinner one thing I've actually been wanting to try and haven't gotten it out, I refused to until I did the unboxing, was the um, April Fresh uh, fabric softener. I've never used fabric softener in my um, laundry. And I know that may shock some of you because I know some of you are like faithful to fabric softener. Um, but I just never saw the point in it because a lot of uh, detergents have fabric softener built in. So why get more if it's already built in i don't know see do you see my dilemma here okay so this is the april fresh scent uh, i don't know if you're supposed to sniff fabric softener oh but it smells really good i may have broken like some sort of rule because i just sniffed it and it says it's good for 12 loads um i really do want to try this in my washing machine and see if i like fabric softener so give it a try. I have a couple of sheets and stuff I want to do, so maybe I'll use it in that old. Um, next up is the Mr. Sketch marker. Guys, I mean, come on. Who doesn't know Mr. Sketch? We all know Mr. Sketch. I got the, I think the cherry, strawberry, some sort of, sort of berry scented. It's pink. Um, and it even says on here that there's going to be a holiday pack, which includes scents like candy cane and gingerbread, which is pretty cool. I like those scents. 
But these are uh, washable, so they'd be great for your kids. So if they get it everywhere, like my daughter is right now, um, you can wash that right up. So, cool beans. Uh, I got a coup another coupon for guacamole. Um, actually, I'm not a big fan of guacamole, but I'd be willing to try it. So, I am going to give that a try as soon as I find that at my grocery store. I also received, and <laughs> I wouldn't give this to my kids. I think I would keep this for myself, but that's, I mean, Erin's only two, so she can't really have soft caramels yet. But the Werther's soft caramels, Werther's are like classic, okay? If you don't know Werther's, I'm sad. But I am really stoked that, that they have a soft caramel now, because I, I really love their uh, hard candies, but super excited that they have the soft caramels. And last but not least, Pop Chips. Um, we actually got uh, introduced to Pop Chips by Paul's mother. Um, she told us, I think it was Paul's mother. Is Paul's mother or just seeing her at the grocery store? I want to say Paul's mother. It might have just been the grocery store though. Anyway, we tried them because they're supposed to be better for you because they're baked, um, not fried like most uh, chips. So, um, this is the... Sea salt, sea salt potato. They also have a cheddar that is to die for, I will say that. So I know we're going to like these because I already like pop chips. So that is my pumpkin Vox Box. If you are interested in trying to uh, get signed up for a Vox Box, I would definitely recommend checking out Influencer. And I will link them below. Um, I think... I think it's a great way to try out new products to see what you'd be interested in and they if you get like into doing their surveys and their reviews they send you uh, stuff that um, really kind of like fits into what you already like so that is my pumpkin box box from Influencer and yeah I'm glad I got to share it with you guys thanks Influencer for sending me another box Hey guys, I'm just chilling on the couch with Chief and Lola and Tolula. Tolula, say hi. She's a little shy. Paul took Aaron and went out to meet uh, Billy at Bee Gees. I guess he had some shopping he wanted to do. So he invited um, <coughs> Paul to go along for the ride. So I decided to stay home and catch up on some um, stuff here at home. Mostly the Watch the Hewitt channel stuff. Um, I've got a lot of stuff to update since we're trying to go like live again. So we uh, were trying to get everything up to date so you guys have the most recent information like contact information, like social media and such. Um, so I'm getting that all updated and getting some presets all in there to make it easier for us to upload so we can upload quicker for you guys. Um, we're still going to be doing like the day after, but I'm hoping to make it daily again. So that's, that's the goal. So um, I hope you guys can't hear the background stuff because uh, I've got a movie running in the background I'm watching Into the Woods. For probably the fourth time since I've been uh, had like the cold thing that I've been having. Um, I don't know. It's a comforting movie, Into the Woods. I saw the play once when I was in school. So, um, I did want to mention you guys uh, heard us say that we went back to Best Buy to take back a camera. Uh, it was a vlogging camera. Um, I bought it. It was a Canon PowerShot Elf. I bought it with the intentions of using it for videos, but I learned something really important recently. So any of you out there who are wanting to start vlogging, this may be like important information for you to know so you don't go through what I went through. Um, I record longer videos sometimes on my craft channel um, because I do like things where I just basically sit there and craft and kind of like ramble for like 30 minutes. And, um, this, uh, 
the camera I'm using has a 20 minute limit for videos. Which, I mean, 20 minutes isn't too shabby, nothing, nothing bad about the 20 minutes. I'm not complaining about that. I'm actually pretty comfortable with 20 minutes, and it stops always exactly at 20 minutes, okay? So that wasn't really my issue. My issue was, I was kind of looking for a camera that had something in its features where you could turn that off. Okay, so I went into Best Buy, and I told the sales guy what I'd been experiencing with this camera, and he kept telling me that for sure my camera had something wrong with it. Like that no other camera does that. Um, and I contacted the company that, oh, I don't know. It was a bunch of hooey. Okay, so he talked me into buying this camera. And I did. I bought a camera. Um, and he said that if I didn't like it in 15 days, I could bring it back. Like if it didn't work as I expected wanted it to. I had no problems returning it today. It was not a big deal at all. Uh, I just wanted to let you know. Um, all cameras, all photo cameras are built in, and it varies by camera obviously, but they have these built in timers that make videos shut off automatically. Um, most video cameras have this too. So don't expect to buy any camera without some sort of limit set in. Now, it, it does vary. There are certain cameras there with like 30 minute limits and um, I think video cameras are like an hour or maybe two hours of video limit depending on your storage and va battery. Um, however, they all have limits. Okay, so you're not going to get a camera that does not have a limit. How you use the limit is what what happens. A lot of people, and you don't know this, but a lot of people, um, they do like creative uh, editing where maybe they only record for like 20 minutes or 10 minutes. And then they restart the camera and it starts again and you don't even rec realize it because they're in the same exact position or they're in a different scene so you don't really think about that. And I didn't think about that as, uh, as a YouTuber. Um, but I do realize a lot of people don't sit and talk in front of the camera for 30 minutes straight or an hour straight and just talk. Like, I guess I always just assumed you could get something like that. You can't. So, I'm sticking with the camera I have. There's nothing wrong with it. Uh, I actually really like it. Um, so, I hope that this is helpful and maybe it helps one of you guys who are thinking about vlogging. Um, I actually really recently saw a video that I really enjoyed on YouTube lately about uh, vloggers. So I'm going to link that below too because I thought that was really cool. So I hope you guys check it out. And I guess I will talk to you guys soon. Um, yeah. When. Come out. She's going after your cookie. Kid, go after the cookie. What are you having, baby? What's that? Blue. No, it's not blue. It's 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 like brown. Purple. Okay, it's purple. <laughs> Whatever. I don't know where you got purple from, but is that a cookie? Say cookie. No. Okay. Oh, it's purple. purple. Gosh, Dad, get it right. Can I have a bite? No, you kind of gummy it all up. You like sucking on it. No, Dad, I don't like that kind. I don't want it. I don't want it. Chocolatey. Did you like it? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I like the peanut. No, you can eat it, baby. Are you done? Mm-hmm. Well, then eat it. Okay. What? Okay. Clean? Mm -hmm. You don't want no more? Do you want it? Mm-hmm. Okay.